welcome to your Humber News Update. I'm Erin Amor de los Reyes coming to you from our newsroom here at Humber College North Campus. And here's what we're working on at this hour. A coffin containing the remains of revolutionary leader Fidel Castro is being transported across Cuba. The cortege slowly set off from the city's Revolution Square this morning and is making the 900-kilometer trip to his final resting place in the city of Santiago. Millions of Cubans have been gathering and marching through the streets during the nine-day official mourning period. The former leader died on Friday at the age of 90. Castro ruled over Cuba for 49 years, and he stepped down 10 years ago because of poor health and handed the reins of power over to, to his brother Raul. Ra Castro was admired as a revolutionary champion of the poor, but was also vilified as a dictator who oppressed Cubans and ruined the economy. Castro's ashes will be buried in Santiago on Sunday. Officials investigating yesterday's Colombian plane crash say the airliner carrying the Brazilian soccer team may have run out of fuel. Investigators are currently at the crash site and recovered plane, the plane's black boxes as well as several bodies. The crash killed more than 70 people, including all but three members of the Brazilian soccer team. Two crew members and one journalist also survived. Investigators say the plane may have run out of fuel and crashed into the mountainside. Fans of the Brazilian soccer team remembered the players last night by chanting their names and waving lights. Brazil's president has declared three days of national mourning. Protests have marred the federal government's approval of two major western pipelines that will pump nearly a million more barrels of oil a day. Enbridge's Line 3 and Kinder Morgan's Trans Mountain pipelines were approved, but Enbridge's Northern Gateway project was rejected. Justin Trudeau says the moves, were in the, the moves were in the best interest of Canadians and a major win for workers, their families, and a struggling Alberta economy. This is a decision based on rigorous debate, on science, and on evidence. We have not been and will not be swayed by political arguments. The Prime Minister says the new pipelines will triple Canada's capacity to get resources to international markets. However, many First Nation groups are protesting against the decision. Kinder Morgan says it has indigenous support for the project, but only from one-third of the groups it's consulted. Despite the projects, Trudeau says Canada is still a climate leader pointing to Alberta's plan to cap oil patch greenhouse gas emissions. And in the world of sports, the Leafs won their second road game this season, and TFC will face off against Montreal tonight. While turning to weather, the warm temperature will stick around for today, but expect some rain. It'll reach a high of 11 and drop to a low of 4. And we'll have more of your sports news and three-day forecasts at 2. But for now, we leave you with this. When the weather outside gets frightful, take some advice from the world's only completely brown panda when facing a bitter winter. Meet Kasai, a 7-year-old giant panda. And don't adjust those monitors. He's brown. According to staff at the Panda Wild Trading Base, he stays healthy by eating, a little bit of exercise, and a lot of relaxing. And after that, well, rinse and repeat. Well, that's your 12 o'clock update. We'll be back with more Humber News at 2.